Hello everyone, I hope that you all are doing great. This is Dr. Aksa. Upon your request, this video is about the first exam for the NDEB equivalency process, which is Assessment of Fundamental Knowledge or AFK. I will try my best to cover all the important areas in a short amount of time as much as possible. First of all, many people do not even know how to obtain and from where to obtain the accurate and authentic information about AFK. Well, to be clear, NDEB is the authentic and accurate portal for all the information. In my opinion, it's a good idea to search through NDEB website and to write them and contact them in case if you have any queries or questions. Now let's start with our AFK video and let me know if you have any questions. In my opinion, the AFK exam is basically about biomedical as well as about applied clinical science and it determines such knowledge. This exam is an admission requirement for a Canadian degree completion program and it is also the exam in the equivalency process. So one needs to clear uh, this exam in order to proceed with other examinations in the equivalency process. It includes about 200 multiple choice questions. They are divided into two parts with 100 questions in each and they will be about two hours to complete each part. AFK is offered in two formats. One of them is the electronic delivery which is held at the Prometric centers and the other one is the booklet format which is held at the examination sites. Getting back to the questions again, each question has a score of 1 and the lowest possible score is 0. Preparation for this exam requires dedication and persistence. You need to study conceptually and you need to revise. Do not go too much out of context and also do not just read or study basics. To pass this exam, in my opinion, you need to revise, search, learn and understand. It is a very conceptual exam. It's a multiple choice question exam and all options might seem correct. So the most closest and better option needs to be selected. You need to practice and practice and you need time and patience. Some people study for only few hours and their grasping power is very good. So it is enough for them. However, some people need to study for many hours. But the most important thing is revision. As far as study material is concerned, go to NDEB website. They have an entire list of references and resources that includes book, publications and many more things. And it is very easy to get or download these references and resources. They have a very long list, so do not worry about it being not enough. The list is actually quite good enough. Check the website. And in my opinion, study primarily from the references and resources that NDEB has provided on their website. All such material is to help you study, including some example questions. So do not ignore it and do not underestimate it. It is very helpful to prepare for the exam. One thing I would like to mention over here is that the most important thing is to read and understand the NDEB AFK protocol. It is very, very, very important. Before you start preparing, read the AFK protocol and search through the AFK section on the website. More than half of the queries that you might have will be solved and addressed by it. They have also provided self-assessment on their website and it is a very good idea to solve those questions and have a self-assessment. It will be very helpful for the final exam as well. And do not forget to revise. Keep revising, keep revising, keep revising. Do not forget to revise and try to study something extra as well. Regarding courses and preparation classes, yes, there are many available courses and classes that might be offered by a third party. It might be a good idea to call them and to explore more about them and especially about how they will prepare you for the exam in case if you choose to study with them. However, I strongly believe that it really depends upon you. How do you want to prepare? Because at the end, we have to study ourselves and we have to be vigilant and steady. That's all for this video, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message or write in the comment section. I will try my best to help you. All the best for your AFK exam. And I hope that it was helpful. Have a great day.